heard from a handful of our customers about the importance of being able to integrate their foot traffic data with their existing business intelligence systems like Power BI. Our dev team caught wind of this request and got to work. Let's learn more about it. Power BI is a popular service used within all of the industries that we serve. It's a business analytics service created by Microsoft, and it connects all of your data sources so you can visualize your data in a simple and efficient way. I'm joined today by our Director of Tech Support, Dan Bricker. Hi Jess, thanks for having me. Hey, and he's going to tell us more about how this works. Power BI is a great tool for bringing together multiple data sources. More and more of our customers are using this tool uh, on a regular basis, and it's a pretty easy tool to use. Um, it doesn't require a lot of coding knowledge, and it's pretty pretty simple to get started with. L let me show you a couple examples, and uh, maybe afterwards I can show you something kind of cool to do with it as well. So to get started, we'll go to Vea, and in the lower left hand of the screen, you'll have an option for integrations. By selecting integrations and then picking API clients. So the system will give you the ability to create an API client. It's a simple process. You pick one of your users who has the same rights to the data that you want to have for this API client. You'll pick the client and then the system will present to you a client ID and a client secret. It's very important that you copy these down. In this case, we'll just copy them to Notepad to be used further on in the process. This is all that has to happen inside of Veya from the setup standpoint. So before leaving Veya, you'll want to go to the data grid and create a data grid that mimics the data you want to be able to pull into Power BI. Once you've done this, you'll want to push F12. And on the side panel over here, you'll see a item that says traffic. When you click on that item, you'll see the URL that was actually called to get all this data. So you'll want to copy that URL and store it here on the notepad with your client secret. You also want to keep in mind to keep that client secret private and not share it with anybody because they will have access to all of your data. Going over to Power BI, you can choose get data from the web. This option will bring up this menu. You'll want to select advanced. Inside this first part, you'll want to paste that URL that you have gotten from Vea. And then down at the bottom, you'll want to add a header. And in the header, you'll want to put API key and then paste that API key that you created in Vea. So at this point, Power Query is going to show you the results from that query. At this point, it doesn't look like much. It just says the word list. After clicking to table, the dialog box will appear on the screen. You're going to want to select none for your delimiter and show as errors for any handling of extra columns. Clicking OK will then bring you back to what looks like the same page. But there will now be a small icon at the top next to the word column 1 to expand your columns. By clicking that button, you'll get a list of all the columns available based on the query you gave it. So by clicking close and apply, you'll be able to bring your data back into Power BI as a data source that you can use for all your different graphs and charts. So what if somebody doesn't have Power BI? Is there another way to extract data from Veya? Great question. There, there are. There's a couple different ways. Um, the traditional API is available. Um, if you have Microsoft Excel, you have the same exact option. Um, you can go in, go to select data from the web, and go through the same steps we just went over and it'll pop up a table inside of your spreadsheet that you can actually refresh. And I've got an example here I can show you. Um, so this example is from our mock library, uh, Oakwood. So as you can see here, it is a seven day trending report for multiple different data points within the library, circulation, traffic, usage. So just by right clicking here on the table and selecting refresh, the system's automatically going out and grabbing the newest data from the system. And that's all just through Excel? All through Excel. While we love to see our customers using Veya Analytics reporting tools, this integration makes total sense. 
If you already have a business intelligence system, let's pull that foot traffic data into your single instance. It's going to take your foot traffic data to the next level to be able to see the impacts and connections it has with your point of sale data, staffing, inventory, and all of your other important data sources. If you'd like to learn more, please reach out to us at sensorsync.com and request our Power Query white paper. Also, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos from Sensource. Thanks for watching.